Now here in front of us is the Super Carrier Crescendo. And this Super Carrier really is buzzing the Super and Super. We'll have a quick look around it today. I'll show you all of its features and we'll just admire its design and its elegance. So let's have a look around the exterior first. And we're going to start tip to butt. And starting at the tip, there is quite a surprise here. Just have a quick look there. And yeah, that's, that's an absolute wall of railguns all going down the front there. If that was to fire, that would rip a ship literally in half. That is super scary. Now, coming back into this section, we have ourselves a little ramp. So this ramp can be lowered, and I'm guessing things on the lower deck of the carrier can be ramped out. Coming down below, we have ourselves our first landing leg. That's going to have to be a strong landing leg, and I can also only see maybe five of these landing legs in total. And underneath, there is a giant hydrogen thrust pack to allow this to descend down to planets. Don't lose too many of them, though, and you're going to be using a lot of hydrogen up, so bear that in mind. Now, heading to the top deck, you'll notice that there's these white sort of detailing components on either side that I think look fantastic, especially when they're layered over this sort of tan armor. Now, down in the center, it just looks like some sort of runway, doesn't it? But this isn't any runway. This is a gravity-assisted runway. So you can see there is gravity generators on either side. And this allows fighters... This actually got me really excited when I first had a look at it. So if we hit these in sequence, so we can access the hangars like so. That lowers it down. And then we can access the gravity runway. You can see it powers up. Now, that will then launch the fighters straight down the gravity runway and out into space, allowing them to gather momentum very quickly. You can also use it to launch gravity projectiles if you wanted to as well. So we won't go down inside just yet. We'll head over to the bridge or the command and control center area. So it's quite traditional in terms of it looks like a giant aircraft carrier. It's so big, the top of this thing. It looks like a little house right on top. So you've got two of these spinning radar dishes. You've got laser antennas on the side and you've got the various bridges here as well. So it's quite a big bridge area, but we'll dive inside a little bit later on. There's a rear bridge area complete with detailed antenna dishes there and some of these tubing parts that go down the side. Notice how each one of these hydrogen thrusters has got this detailed sort of trellis and metal effect going around around it now coming into this section right here if we zoom ourselves out you'll notice there is a few openings down the side of this carrier this is a complete landing bay area and there are labeled so you've got p2 p3 you've got smaller decks up there as well and you've got two larger ones down at the bottom you've got a massive opening in the center for cargo transport two connectors on either side and then you've got another hangar bay that takes you into the centralized hangar bay in the middle now this ship really really isn't lacking weaponry. Just look at how many assault cannons are going down the side. Now, that would even scare an experienced survival player. There's so many weapons going down the side. That, that, that would just rip the game apart. Now, if you want to see more weapons, yes, there's more. Look at this attachment on the side. So these are artillery guns in this sort of staggered artillery gun. It's like a rocket pod on the side made of artillery guns. Isn't that just crazy for a carrier of this size? So coming a bit further back, you'll notice there is loads of gyroscopes acting as some gyro armor. There we've got the landing bays we had to look at. And then we've got the thruster bay at the back. Now the thruster bay is really quite nicely detailed. You'll notice how the thrusters kind of tuck up and curve around into these lower sections. And down below, there is also more landing gears toward the rear, some Gatling gun turrets, and then we've got the thrust pack at the back. And I think that thrust pack just looks really nice. I like the curved segments here that lead around and there's some nice space in between them. Now, coming down the center here, we have kind of this gap between the thrust packs that allows it to pack even more hydrogen thrusters. And you'll notice an excessive use. Well, I'll say excessive, but there's no such thing as excessive in space engineers, is there? But there's lots of blast doors all over this ship protecting the vital components behind turrets and whatnot. So with all that information taken aboard, let's have a look at some of the other things. Hang on, did these, did these artillery gun pods rotate? Is that on a rotor? Oh, so you could do a bombardment from above? That is a cool idea right there. But let's head inside the hangar and we'll have a look around. So this is the frontal hangar area. And there's a lot going on here. There is there is so many hangar bays, I would honestly lose count going down each side. But this just allows it to have a massive capacity. Now, coming to the front, they've got these sort of detailed ledge areas. And they've got a ramp here in the front section. So let's access that ramp right now. So to access the ramp, you need to, of course, have your jetpack on because we're in space, Aaron. And then we can work our way through the hinges right like so. So there we go. 
ramp is lowering itself down and that is a very large ramp so you could deploy a massive rover from this if you wanted to as well as being supported by all these rail guns on either side so as we come a bit further back we'll enter into the middle here now in between here is more gravity drives so more gravity drives that could only mean one thing this is some sort of gravity propelled gravity drive we've got a printer perhaps at the back here i'm not too sure what these gravity systems are doing here there's some sort of cube i'm guessing it could be a gravity drive of some form up in this section here we have of course got a lovely welder pit so that could weld up more fighters and you're going to be welding up fighters all the bloody time by the look of it to fit in all these hangars we've got some larger hangars down below and we've got a sort of docking areas down in the center now overlooking this area we have a giant sort of cantina area so there's cooking canteen look at that view that is so sci-fi yes very cool indeed and out to the side they've got themselves a cinema of course of course they have a cinema inside here they've got a shooting range over on this side and the little kitchen in the middle now let's drop ourselves down a deck so this is another little observation room this one's just got suits and it's got two access doors to the side hangers here and a bit of storage and as we work our way back out we're in that middle segment here and it is a really big middle segment some people don't even have gaps like this within their stations to fly areas through but you're not gonna have a problem with this ship i'll tell you that now as we work our way up to the rear there is some access sort of doors here and these access doors do lead you around to the rear area where the bridge is now coming into the bridge area we have a large medical room or a laboratory at the back i guess you could say coming forward we've got some nice little seats and this takes us to the little bridge area or the upper bridge area here on this deck now coming down below there is another sort of bar slash disco area in this i'm not too sure what was going on in this carrier maybe someone's priorities for having a disco room up here maybe may in the wrong order we've got a little command and control center down in this lower area here as well and that overlooks the hangar that's very cool i like all the information there on the grids ship config sim speed look at oh yes look at all that detailing going on oh there's a lot of scripts running on here whips doors auto doors and finally what is this what's this control panel gonna do so we've got dock spotlights okay we've got dock corner lights oh they come alive too and we have the lights in the command and control center in this section as well now i want to see if there's anything behind the scenes here or is this going to all just be guts and storage of this ship it's looking like it some interesting is it some interesting tools going on here it looks like some interesting propulsion methods that have been created yeah, this looks like a clang drive of some sort of kind. But I guess it's the only way you're going to be able to protect, propel a ship of this side. That's a massive hydrogen storage at the back. What's this down here? Is this a second gravity drive? So has this got both gravity drives and clang drives? Fascinating. Let's um, roll ourselves back a little bit. We've got the hangers, of course, on the other side. Let's head up to that bridge area and see if we can do any more. But first, let's have a quick look down here into this lower section. So this is just another observation area. I was trying to see if there was a reactor room or something. Every time I tour one of these ships, they're just so big. It's so easy to get lost inside of. So let's head up to this other area here. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the main seat. Yeah, command chair. Nicely labelled. Okay, so let's have a look what's on the hood first. So we have ourselves the gravity gyro system. We have the main camera. We've got salvo mode, merge pulse drive. We have um, artillery port side control, so we can fire them and control them remotely. So let's try, first of all, our gravity uh, gyro. Okay, we've turned that on. Nothing's happening. Let's fire up the uh, salvo mode. Okay, so that's the rail guns firing a salvo. Oh, yes. Look at that. Can we get over there? So there's your salvo mode. So that means just a constant wall of rail guns until everything runs completely out of of rail, so to say. I like that feature. That's a cool idea, that, especially when you've got a lot of weapons. Let's have a quick look at what else we've got here. Um, we've got a run on that one. We've got merge pulse drive toggle block on and off. So let's see what the merge pulse drive does. Or oh, I'm so scared when you're messing with scripts. If something's going to go wrong. Oh, so it gives you super acceleration. Look at that acceleration. And de-acceleration as well. That is the fastest accelerating carrier I've ever seen. So let's turn that on. Let's have a go at our gyroscope. 
Oh, so we've actually got quite good gyroscopic movement as well. We can actually move this carrier quite well. Let's turn our super gyroscope back on, or whatever that system was. Okay, so we can we can maneuver it and control it. So it ca it controls really well for a large ship of this size. And then over here we have ourselves the random weapons that we can access. So this is the side volley. Let's get ourselves into a position where we can actually witness this fire. So that's the side volley. You can see how I can move it up and down. Oh, I can move it out as well. <laughs> now that's cool. That would be absolutely deadly. So what else have we got here? Because I'm seeing three weapon seats. We've got super artillery batteries, super artillery uh, starboard, um, custom turret controller port side. So what's number seven then? No target is locked. Or does that just allow you to lock onto them with various targets? So it seems to be. So this is a really quite customizable ship. Without them scripts running though, it might run into some trouble. But the acceleration is is phenomenal. Phenomenal? Phenomenal. phenomenal. That's a new word right there. Yeah, it's it's flammable. It's all it must it's either all them hydrogen thrusters or something to do with this uh, clang drive that's aboard merge pulse drive. Let's turn that back on. So look at that acceleration. It's almost too fast. I feel like if you did that with fighters attached to this thing, you'd just blow them all off. But what a great build. If you've enjoyed this build, check the link in the description below. And if you've enjoyed how I've presented this video, hit that like button and I will see you next time.